Hi everyone, my name is Michelle and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is in my hospital bag. So as I'm filming this, I am 37 weeks and 2 days pregnant. If you've seen any of my pregnancy updates, I did mention in my 37 week pregnancy update that I had a little bit of a labor scare. And so I just want to make sure I have everything in my hospital bag that I need and it's ready to go. So I'm going to be sharing with you what is in my hospital bag. I'm just using a plain black duffel bag that we just got at Walmart. It's spacious and it's gonna it's gonna do the job so not really concerned how cute it is it's just a bag so <laughs> so I'm going to be packing very minimally so if you're new this is my second pregnancy and I am attempting a VBAC so for my first pregnancy I did have a scheduled c-section at 39 weeks because he was breech and so I definitely overpacked that bag. I brought so much stuff that I did not use. I literally touched almost nothing in my hospital bag. And I think the main reason is because I did just have a major abdominal surgery and I didn't want to get out of bed. So I literally stayed in the hospital gown until I was ready to be discharged to go home. I never changed my clothes once. I didn't take a shower. That might sound gross to a lot of people, but I only got out of bed if I needed to get up to go to use the restroom or if they made me get up to go walk. Other than that, I stayed in that bed, in that hospital gown, and I touched nothing in my bag. So this time around, I'm going to be packing a lot less. That being said, if I am missing something that you guys think is like a must, because I never went through labor. So if there's something I need for labor or you think that there's something that I definitely do need to bring, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to know. But I'm just going on my experience for my first time, which is probably going to be an entirely different experience. So I'm not really sure what to expect. So I'm kind of planning for both a vaginal birth and a C-section because there's still a pretty good chance that my VBAC could be unsuccessful and I need to have an emergency C-section. So I do need to prepare for that as well. And again, when I had my C-section with my first son, I touched almost nothing so I'm not really concerned too much about that it's more like the labor process that I'm not really sure how to prepare for so in that black bag I'm going to be packing for both me and my fiance so all of our stuff is gonna go in that bag so I'll share all of that with you and also I'm going to be sharing what is in my baby's bag so this is my diaper bag and I'll be sharing everything that I have for baby in there as well so again I packed very minimally for him as well because when I had my son, I packed all this stuff for him and I tried changing his clothes, giving him like special diapers, doing all this fancy stuff with him. Every single time a nurse came in to check on him, they put him back in that little t-shirt they give him, back in his hospital blanket, back in his hospital hat, every single time. So I'm not planning on changing his clothes until we go home. I'm only gonna change him once and that is for pictures. I'm going to put him in something cute for pictures and then chances are he's going to go right back into that same outfit that the hospital provides for him, which is fine. I just don't want to have to deal with bringing all this extra stuff if it's not going to be used. So enough of me rambling. Let's jump right into the video. So the first thing I'm bringing in my bag is my letter board. So this is how we're going to announce his name. So I already have everything um, written out on it, so I'm not gonna open it and show you guys yet. Um, so I have his name and then like when he's born and like his weight and everything, obviously I don't know that, so I have to bring like all the letters and stuff with it if I have to adjust it a little bit. But yeah, so this is gonna be one of the first things that I'm gonna bring. So next we have my little toiletries bag. I have had this thing for years. I got it out like Walmart or Target. It's just convenient. I don't really care. It's not the cutest, but it does a job. So it has a little tie right here. So you open it up and it has like a little hook. So if you want, you can hang it in the bathroom. I'm probably not going to, but this is very minimal as well. Like I said, I did not shower with my first birth. And honestly, I'm not really planning on doing it this time. So I'm not bringing a whole bunch of stuff. So one thing I am bringing is some deodorant. So some people might think this is very gross, but whatever it is, what it is, we don't care. Me and my fiance share a stick of deodorant. I don't really use my own. 
I just use his. It doesn't really, it does the job. So we're bringing one stick of deodorant for the both of us. So we have that in here. And then we have some mouthwash. He loves to use mouthwash when he brushes his teeth. I don't really care, but he likes to do that. So I'm bringing that for him. And then a toothbrush. We went to Walmart yesterday and picked up two new toothbrushes, but for some reason I can only find one. So I'm gonna have to look for the other one or go back to the store and get one. But so far there's one in here, along with a little travel size toothpaste and a little travel size makeup remover. So I am not planning on wearing makeup to the hospital. If I am wearing makeup at the hospital, it's because I had just filmed a video. That's really the only time I wear makeup anymore. And so I'm also not planning on bringing it to the hospital and doing my makeup there. I just find it very uncomfortable when I'm trying to like relax. So I do have makeup remover wipes just in case I do have to take my makeup off or if I'm like sweaty and gross and just wanna like wash my face. So I did bring these, these are the Neutrogena ones. These are my favorite. These are the ones I use anyway, but I got just like a travel size. Lastly for toiletries, I have the Dove Deep Moisturize nourishing body wash so it's just a little travel size body wash this was the only one I could find it's not like anything special um I like I said I'm not really planning on taking a shower this is more like if Roger wants to shower or if for some reason I do end up wanting to shower I highly doubt I will but if I do I have it I am definitely not planning on washing my hair I only wash my hair once a week as it is so it doesn't get very greasy very fast so I'm also not bringing dry shampoo because I feel like I can just make it work. So next in this little middle pocket, I have my hair stuff. So I only have one comb, so I haven't packed that yet. I still obviously use it every day. And so that's going to be like one of the last minute things that I pack in here. Hopefully I don't forget. But I have in this bag, pull this pouch. I have two scrunchies. I have just like a black one and then this like velvety one. I don't know if I'm gonna use them. I brought a couple different options. I'm not sure how I'm gonna want to put my hair up. I also have one of these like coil coil um, bands, which I have actually been using these a lot more lately when I do like my little top knot bun, which is how I'm most likely gonna be wearing my hair. I also have a couple just regular rubber bands. I packed a couple because these somehow always get lost or they snap. And so just in case I don't want to use those and I want to use just like a plain one, I got like four of these. Also, I packed a couple little like clips. I don't know if I'm going to use them, but I bought, or I brought two different kinds just in case. Who knows? I'd rather have them and not need them than not have them and want them. So I'm the type of person that if I'm like uncomfortable or something, I do not want my hair touching my face. And so I figure... Maybe a rubber band might not be enough. Maybe I might want to like clip it too. I don't really know. I just want to get annoyed with my hair. So next on this top bag, again, I'm packing super minimally. I brought, I saw a lot of what's in my hospital bags videos and like postpartum videos. And these, I think these are the always brand. They're basically adult diapers. So I am packing two of these and these are what I'm going to be coming home in. So I want to come home in and one if for some reason I need to change it before we get home. So I'm bringing two of these and that's it. I'm not bringing any like fancy underwear or anything like that. Like I'm just going to be wearing that and I'm not planning on bringing pads or just anything really. I know my hospital provides all of that stuff. I brought a ton of pads with me my first time around and I didn't use any of them. The hospital took care of everything. They changed me down there, but again, I didn't have a vaginal birth. I had a C-section, so they changed my bandages. They changed everything. I didn't have to deal with it at all. And so I'm planning on just using everything that they provide for me and just the only stuff I'm really bringing is the stuff that I'm going to want when I come home, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not bringing any, like, postpartum care, like the Dermaplast kind of stuff. I do have some at home, and I'm going to be doing a postpartum haul and showing you guys what's in my little basket for my postpartum care. But I'm not going to bring any of that stuff with me because my hospital is going to give that to me, and I just don't want to pack anything that's not necessary. 
So I'm just bringing those two little disposable diapers for me for the way home. Other than that, I'm just going to the hospital to give me what they got. So now for the clothes items for what's in my bag. So like I said, I'm packing very minimally. Minimally, I'm going to use what the hospital gives me. I didn't change out of my clothes the first time and I'm honestly not planning on changing out of my clothes this time. I am giving myself an option though, kind of. So the first thing I have for me for clothes is this little blue robe. So this one's like a cottony robe. It's really, really soft and um, it goes to about my knees. It's really comfortable. I got this one from Target about a week ago. So that I'm going to be bringing. I heard a lot of girls talk in their, in their um, what's in my hospital bag videos saying that a robe is a must for either after you have a baby when you want to take off that gown and you just want to like cut up in a robe. I might do that. Or when you're in the labor process and you're like walking down the hallway, you don't want your butt showing through the hospital gown, put a robe over it. I might do that as well. I'm not sure, but I'm bringing that just in case I want it. So I'm also bringing two nursing bras. So another tip I heard on here, I didn't wear a bra in my first, during my first delivery. I put the hospital gown on with no bra on, so I don't really have anything to compare this to. But I did hear a tip that you want one that like clasps so you can like undo it instead of like the sports bra ones that you have to like pull off just because of your IV cords and whatnot. I don't know. Again, I didn't have to deal with that the first time. I just didn't wear a bra. But I'm bringing two this time, both of them. They're both black nursing bras. Um, no underwire in either of them because I guess that's not good for milk supply. My first time around, I guess I didn't know that and a lot of my bras did have the underwire in them. But yeah, both are the classy kind and just plain black nursing bras. And I'm bringing one pair of socks. These aren't like grip socks or anything. These are just if I want my own socks. I know my hospital gives me a pair of socks, so I'm not really stressing out about bringing any. So honestly, that robe is probably the only thing I'm going to put on if I change out of my hospital gown during my hospital stay. Or just because I want my like bottom half to be open. I want easy access for him to nurse if they want to check me, if the lactation consultant comes in and she wants to look at things. I just want easy access. And the hospital gown was very easy. Yes, it's gross and you probably aren't gonna wanna wear it. Honestly, the first time I just didn't care. I just wanted to go home. But that's only planning on wearing if I do change. So next I have my coming home outfit. So I have one pair of black maternity leggings. These are the ones that I wear now normally. So I have two pairs of maternity leggings. So I'm gonna pack one and then keep wearing the other one. So I have just these really stretchy leggings. And then I have a black nursing tank top. So it's just a normal nursing tank top, but it is not like, it's not fitted at the bottom. It's like one of those like flowy ones. So if I do have like any kind of soreness or if I do have surgery and I don't want something super tight and constricting, this is flowy. So I thought that would be a lot more comfortable than just like a normal like tight tank top because I'm probably gonna be wearing a diaper coming home. I don't really want my, I'm sure you can probably tell if someone's wearing a diaper in leggings. So I'm also going to be bringing a cardigan to wear over it. It's actually, it's gonna be like June or July when I have this baby, so it's gonna be really hot, but I don't really care. It's just gonna be to walk to the car, basically. But I want something that's going to be long enough to cover my butt so no one can tell that I'm walking down with a diaper. So I have either this one, which is pretty like heavy and hardcore, or I have this other one, which is a lot thinner. So I'm bringing both options just in case. Both are long enough to cover my butt so you can't see my diaper. Um, I also have just a sweatshirt. This is just a normal black sweatshirt that I wear all the time just in case I want to wear a sweatshirt when I'm in the hospital. I'm really weird and I'm the kind of person that wears long sleeves and sweatshirts and pants and 
Ugg boots and all that good stuff during the summertime too. It's just very comfortable for me to be like bundled up. Yes, I get hot. I don't really care though. I like to like have warmer clothes for some reason. So I'm bringing that. The last thing for me I'm bringing, just in case I don't want to wear that tank top with a cardigan, or maybe I want to wear that like while I'm staying at the hospital, I don't know, so I want another option for me to wear at home. And so that is this, another sweatshirt. <laughs> so that is this sweatshirt right here. This one is, I think it should be long enough, I honestly haven't tried it on to see, but it should be long enough to cover my butt enough to like not tell that I'm wearing a diaper. But it's a nursing one, so you lift up right here, and then you can nurse through here. So, I thought this would be really, like, convenient to wear. So, that is my last option. Last thing I'm bringing for me and baby is a bobby pillow. So, I don't know if I'm going to need it, just because they do have pillows at the hospital that I could prop him up on. But, breastfeeding is super important to me. And I just want to get it right right away. I don't want to have to struggle with it. And so if I don't use this, whatever, if I do use it, then I'm glad I brought it. But I'm going to definitely be bringing this anyway. And I'm just going to keep the little um, plastic container on it just so it doesn't get dirty. If I do bring it to the hospital and I just don't want it to like be touching everything. So I'm going to leave it in that plastic container. Okay. Now for what my fiance's portion of the bag. So for what I'm bringing for him bringing a couple pairs of underwear and a pair of socks for him and then I am bringing him two tank tops and three t-shirts so he is getting just a couple shirts I don't know how long we're staying when I had my c-section we went there Wednesday morning at like four in the morning and we came home around lunchtime on Friday so it's like a total of like three days so he might not need this many clothes but I just want to be prepared for him if we do have to stay a little bit longer since he doesn't get that beautiful hospital gown to stay in um, Also, I'm bringing him a pair of shorts because it is gonna be hot and a pair of sweatpants Just in case he wants to wear the sweatpants instead and a pair of jeans if he wants to come home in that or if he wants to wear those at the hospital I don't know, but he's getting a pair of jeans a pair of sweatpants and a pair of shorts So that should be plenty for him. He's not very picky like he'll be fine. I am also bringing him a sweatshirt just in case it's cold inside the hospital. And that is it for him. So he's also going to be packing, well, I'm probably going to pack it for him, but he's going to be bringing a backpack, um, which he's going to be in charge of having like the electronics. So he's going to have both of our Nintendo Switches so we don't get bored. Um, he's going to have our phone chargers, probably my laptop, um, all of that like electronic stuff and snacks. So I haven't packed any snacks yet. I was thinking of just bringing a couple of protein bars. So if any of you guys have any recommendations on what snacks I should bring, please comment them down below. That is something I haven't done yet. And yeah, so that's everything for our bag. So next I'm gonna be showing you guys what is in my baby's bag. So this is his bag. Uh, this is gonna be the diaper bag I'm using. I got it off of Amazon for like 30 bucks. I think it's super cute and it's a backpack style. So it's gonna be a lot more convenient for me to carry around. With my first one, I used like the shoulder bag and I hated carrying it around. I thought it was cute, but carrying it was super inconvenient. And I always either made Roger hold it or I threw it in the bottom of the stroller because I just didn't want to carry it. So this one will be a lot easier. Okay, so like I said before, I know I've said this a million times, but I'm packing very minimally. Um, he, when I had my son, he was in the same shirt the whole time. They kept changing him back into the same like hospital shirt. So I didn't want to struggle with like packing a bunch of stuff for him either. I wanted, also, I want to make sure I leave enough room. They give him all his diapers. I brought all these diapers for my first son. We really never used them because they gave them to us at the hospital. Same with wipes. But I am still bringing wipes and diapers for the, for, for the way home in case we need them. So for my first son, I subscribed to the Onyx Company bundle. And I loved it so much. And it is a little bit expensive. It's about $80 a month or $80 per package. So you can get it shipped to you every month or you can get it shipped to you like every six weeks, every eight weeks, however long you want. Like it, you know, it lets you change it. So I did subscribe to that again just because their diapers are so, so first of all, they have cute patterns. 
So I got the first the ones I'm bringing to the hospital are the dinosaur ones. So I'm bringing four dinosaur diapers, but they're like organic and they are hypoallergenic and they're just really good quality diapers. And it gets shipped to your door, so it's super convenient. So I thought I'm definitely gonna be doing that at least for the first two months. It is a little bit expensive, so I'm probably not gonna keep it up very long. But while we don't know how sensitive his skin is going to be, I do trust these diapers. So I'm gonna be using these again. Same with the wipes. They aren't harsh on the skin, so I feel very comfortable using them on my newborn. Liam has his own wipes that we just get in like a big box from Sam's Club. Those are fine for him. I know his skin isn't sensitive. He's almost three years old. He's fine. He can use pretty much anything. But for my newborn, I'm only gonna be using the Honest Company wipes and diapers. So I do have a pack of the Honest Company wipes in here. So while we're at the hospital, I'm just gonna be using the diapers and wipes that they provide, but these are for at home. I also thought the wipes might be kind of helpful for me or my fiance if we get sweaty and we just like wanna wipe off because you never know. So I'm bringing a whole pack of wipes and some diapers. I'm also bringing just a soft baby blanket. I'm not bringing like a swaddle blanket or anything just because they're gonna swaddle him in the blanket that they give me. Again, I don't feel the need to bring an extra one. I don't think I'm going to have him swaddled for pictures. If I do, maybe I'll just use that blanket. I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be doing. But just in case I need a blanket, I'm bringing this really soft baby blanket. Okay, so now for clothes. My doctor told me she doesn't think he's going to be very big. Um, when I had Liam, he was 7 pounds even when he was born. He was born at 39 weeks via scheduled C-section. So he might have been a little bit bigger if I had him at full term. But honestly, the newborn outfit that we brought for him, he was swimming in. It was so big. So I did want to go ahead and do preemie outfits this time. I didn't want to have to deal with him taking off his mittens at the hospital and like dropping them on the dirty floor or losing them or anything. So everything that I'm bringing for him has the cuffed mittens. So the first one is just this little sleeper onesie that says hello. Um, with the cuff mittens. This one's in a size newborn. Uh, I got this off Amazon and for some reason I feel like it looks kind of big for a newborn but I'm bringing that just in case we want to put him in like a little sleeper. I like I guess <laughs> I guess I did put a swaddle in here but it's just this little I got this one for Liam. I actually got this one when I had Liam so it's a hand-me-down but this one is from the brand Swaddle Me. It's a newborn swaddle so it's just the one with the zipper and so it's really easy and it's really easy to swaddle them in this. It's not like a big old blanket that you have to like figure out what to do. Just in case I want to swaddle him in this, I probably won't use it at the hospital, but I did bring it just in case. Okay, so next I have two outfits. So I'm not sure either one is going to be coming home and one is going to be for pictures or I'll do the same outfit for coming home and pictures. I don't really know yet. But I have two options for like outfits. So the first little outfit, I think these little white onesies are so freaking cute. And I'm gonna pair it with these little gray pants. So that's one little outfit option I have for him. This one is in a size newborn and it's really small looking and I like that though because I don't want my clothes to be swimming on him. So yeah, this one's in a size newborn. Next I have this cute little gray and white striped onesie with the mitten cuffs like I was saying, which I love. And this one, this one I got in a size preemie because again, I don't want it to be too big on him. And I'll probably pair it with these little black pants. And then I'm bringing one pair of socks. So I don't know how many socks he's going to need. I think I brought a ton my first time around and I don't think he really used them very much. So I'm just bringing one pair. I don't want them to get lost or anything. It's more for like pictures I'm gonna use it for. I'm also bringing three different little hats. So this one is just like little top knot one and these ones are just regular. All of these hats I got for Liam when I had him, so. Alrighty, well that is everything that is in my hospital bag and in baby's hospital bag. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please don't forget if you think I'm missing something, please leave it in the comments down below. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.